Happy Sabbath, everybody. My name is Pastor Chelsea. Welcome to Family Sabbath School Online. Today, I want to talk to you about a really awesome part of the Christmas story, and that's the part with the shepherds. I really like this part of the story. I like to imagine that I am in the story. So can you imagine that with me? I want you to imagine that you are one of the shepherds. Now, you might not have spent much time in a field with sheep. I know I have not spent much time in a field with sheep, but this is what the shepherds did all the time. But I don't know, have you ever gone camping before? I've gone camping before, so I imagine it was kind of like that. Because when you go camping, sometimes you go out into nature and you're kind of far away from the city and all of the lights, all of the street lamps, all of the lights shining from billboards or from buildings, all of the electric lights everywhere. And when things are so bright, sometimes even at night, we can't really see very many stars. But if you are out way out in nature, away from the city, all of a sudden, all those lights are not there. And when the sun goes down, the stars come out. And so I imagine that must have been what it was like for the shepherds. They were there. They didn't have city lights around them. And the sky was full of stars. And it was peaceful. And it was nice. But all of a sudden, a bright light burst out of nowhere and an angel showed up and said, don't be afraid. That was probably good that the angel said that because if it was me and I was one of those shepherds, I would be afraid. If an angel came out of nowhere with a bright light and suddenly filled the sky. But this angel had a very special message for those shepherds. And it's really cool. And this is part of what I love about the story because this angel came to these shepherds even though they weren't really powerful people. They weren't really high up in the government. They weren't necessarily scholars who had been studying the scriptures. They weren't teachers. They weren't the Pharisees. They were just shepherds out watching their sheep. But just like everyone else, these shepherds had been looking forward to the Savior coming. And now was the time. And the angel, out of everyone else that the angel could have showed up and said, guess what? Jesus is here. God told that angel to go to the shepherds because they were important. I love that about this story. And the angel said, don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. And then the sky was filled with angels and they were singing glory to God in the highest. And it was amazing. And the shepherds were just like, wow. They were so filled with so much emotion, probably still a little bit scared, maybe really excited, maybe kind of confused, but eventually the angels went away and the sky filled back up with stars and the shepherds decided that they believed and that they were going to go find that baby that the angel had told them about and they went looking for him and they found him lying in a manger wrapped in swaddling clothes with Mary and Joseph and they worshiped him. And even though he was just a baby, because of what the angels had said, the shepherds knew that this baby was the savior of the world. And we celebrate him this Christmas. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that you came to be the savior of us. We love you for that. We are so thankful for that. But also, Lord, thank you so much that every single person is important in your eyes. Thank you that we're important to you. We celebrate you this Christmas. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. I have a craft for you guys today. What you're going to need is you're going to need paper that you can draw on or color on. You're going to need um, a pencil hopefully a long pencil that hasn't been all used up. You're gonna need something to color with. I have crayons. 
You, maybe you have markers or colored pencils or something different. And you're also gonna need tape and some scissors. Now this part you might need a grown up to help you with. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a thankfulness flag that you can wave to tell Jesus how thankful you are for what he's done for you. Now it's fun to sing songs to him to thank him. It's fun to pray to him to thank him, but also we can thank him in other creative ways as well. So we're gonna do that with our flag today. So my pencil is not very long. So when I cut out my flag, it's not, it's long, but it's not very tall. So you're gonna wanna get a grown up to help you figure out what size to cut your flag out, but this is what you do. And on one side of your flag, you're gonna draw something that Jesus has done for you that you're thankful about. You're gonna take your crayons or your markers and you're just gonna draw. Do you guys wanna see what I drew that I'm thankful for that Jesus has done for me? I'll show you. You get to see my amazing drawing skills. I drew my family because Jesus gave me a wonderful family that loves me. I have my mom and my dad. I have my brother and my sister-in-law. Um, they have a cat. I have a dog. This is my family and they love me and I love them. And I'm thankful to Jesus for the love of my family. <clears throat> And then on the other side, you also might need a grown up to help you with this if you're not too good at spelling yet. But I wrote Jesus cares for me on the other side. You can write whatever you want, anything that you want to show Jesus that you're thankful for what he's done for you. And then you can wave the flag, your thankfulness flag, and you can wave it when you're praising Jesus. Well, I hope that you guys have enjoyed Family Sabbath School, and I hope you have a wonderful Sabbath and a very awesome Christmas and New Year. See you guys later.